Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be my reactions for NXT New Year's Evil 2024. Now, the first thing I would like to say is that I did way better on the predictions than I did at NXT Deadline. So, how well did I did? Well, I actually did very well. I got 6 out of the 6 matches correct. So, I had a perfect pay-per-view. I got every single match right. Now it's just time to go into the results. So, the first match is a singles match for the NXT Women's Championship. Lyle Valkyria, the champion, versus Blair Davenport. Winner of the singles match and still the NXT Women's Champion, Lyle Valkyria. Um, Lyle Valkyria and Blair Davenport had a good match. Uh, I thought the match was enjoyable. It was good, so... Yeah. Uh, the second match is a six-man tag team match. LWO versus the No Quarter Catch Crew. Uh, winners of the six-man tag team match, the LWO. This was also another good match. Uh, the third match in the night is a singles match. Ariana Grace versus Roxanne Perez. Winner of the singles match, Roxanne Perez. Like I said in my predictions video, I said that I wasn't really interested in this match all that, that much. I do think this is the worst match of the show, but the match itself was okay. So, the, the, the ending was really confusing to me because Roxanne Perez won. And here's what happened. So after the match was over, Roxanne Perez attacks Ariana Grace. And the referees reverse the decision and say that Ariana Grace won by DQ. Which is kind of stupid because Roxanne Perez was the one who won. So Roxanne Perez beat Ariana Grace by pinfall. So, I don't know. I got the match correct. I said Roxanne Perez was going to win, and she did. And then they reversed it to say Ariana Grace won. So, I don't know. But I got that match correct. In my eyes, I got it correct. So, I don't really care. Uh, fourth match, uh, singles match, ranch hand or servant match. Fallon Henley versus Tiffany Stratton. Winner of the singles match, Fallon Henley. Um, to be honest with you guys, I think this was a great match. You guys know already that I love stipulation matches, and this is a stipulation match. And this is kind of what the feud needed to end with, because Roxanne Perez and Tiffany Stratton have had so many crap matches in their career, and this feud had a lot of good build-up, and it was just a great feud, and I think this match was a great way to end it. Uh, of course, I pretty much predicted that Fallon Henley was going to win, and she did. Uh, so, you know, uh, Tiffany Stratton will become Fallon Henley's ranch hand for a day, which... Uh, Tiffany Stratton will get what she deserves and find out what real hard work is. And uh, overall, I thought it was a great match, a great feud, everything. Uh, the fifth thing is the finals in the men's breakout tournament. Riley Osborne versus Oba Femi. Winner of the singles match of the NXT men's breakout tournament and the singles match, Oba Femi. So, my, my head was really thinking today. Uh, because if you guys didn't know, in my predictions, I changed my mind. And I picked Oba Femi to win. Originally, I thought Riley Osborne was going to win. But then I thought about it more. 
And with a guy like Oba Femi, he's definitely going to be the star of the future. Same thing as Riley Osborne, but I think they were just going to give it to Oba Femi, and that's what happened. So I was really thinking this time, so I, I got that match correct. Now here's where everything of this pay-per-view gets fucked up. So, the original main event for this show was a singles match for the NXT Championship. It was Ela Dragunov versus Trick Williams. Now, as you guys know in my predictions video, I picked Ela Dragunov to win. Well, there was a major announcement at the beginning of the show. So, if you guys didn't know or you haven't been watching NXT for the past couple weeks... Ela Dragunov got injured a mat in a match against Ridge Holland, and Ridge Holland ended his injured his neck, and Ridge and Ela Dragunov hasn't been wrestling a couple weeks, so they had this contract signed for this match, right? And so, so Ela Dragunov still wanted to do the match. But at the beginning of this show, NXT New Year's Evil 2024, the doctors of the WWE couldn't clear Ela Dragon off for this match, so they changed the main event. And here's what the new main event was. It was a singles match. Battle of the Iron Survivors. Winner will become the new Iron Survivor and the new number one contender for Ela Dragunov's championship. So it was Trick Williams versus Grayson Waller. Now, who did I choose to win? I picked I picked uh, Trick Williams to win because he is the rightful contender. He won the Iron Survivor Challenge, and why would he lose? He should be the Iron Survivor because he won the fucking thing. But anyway, the winner of the singles match was uh, uh, Trick Williams. So I got that match right. So I did very good on the predictions. I actually did great. I got six out of the six matches correct. Unless if you count the the Roxanne versus Ariana Grace match, but that ending was so stupid that I was like, fuck it. I got this match correct. They reversed it after Roxanne Perez won. I'm still fucking correct. So, so in my opinion, uh, what is the match of the night? Uh, th the match of the night for me... It's going to be an obvious one, and this ain't because I'm biased. It's just, I generally did not like the changing of the ending. If the main event did not change, and it would still be Ela Dragunov versus Trick Williams for the NXT Championship, I would have said that that match would be my match of the night, because these two have had a great match before, and I, I'm... Pretty sure they would have another great match. So that would have been my match of the night. But because that match got cancelled and replaced by this other main event. I would have to say that my match of the night is singles match, Rant Chan or Servant match. Fallon Henley versus Tiffany Stratton. And the reason is, is not because I'm trying to be biased because I like stipulation matches. But I generally thought this was a good match. And Fallon Henley and Tiffany Stratton had a great feud. So that's why I picked this match over the actual main event. Which was changed like I said before. So that's my match of the night. So, what is my underdog match in the night? I would say my underdog match of the night is going to be a singles match for the NXT Women's Championship. Live Valkyria versus Blair Davenport. Um, and that's because it was just generally a good match. And that's the reason why it's the underdog match of the night. Honorable mention. My honorable mention is going to be the singles match between Trek Williams and Grayson Waller. 
Uh, honestly, I do not think that main event was as good as the original main event they had, but I still have to at least give it an honorable mention because it was still a g somewhat of a good main event, even though that's not what most people were expecting out of this pay-per-view or what they wanted. So, I still have to give it an honorable mention, though. So... Great pay-per-view, a great start to 2024, did great on the NXT New Year's Evil 2024 predictions, that's great. So, did better than NXT Deadline, and a great start to the year. So hopefully, these great pay-per-views continue with NXT. And those were my predictions and reactions for NXT New Year's Evil 2024. Please post a comment. What were your predictions and reactions for NXT New Year's Evil 2024? And if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Period.